What's up guys, I'm coming to you today with the brand new selfie stick. If only I could show you it, um, but anyway, it is pretty grand. Um, well, so unfortunately I have no new content for this week. Um, so I was supposed to go play a tournament this weekend, but the day before I had a minor injury in my pectoral major. Um, so it was unfortunate, literally could not hit any shot. Um, I think it was from something I was doing weird on my second serve, so I gotta check that out, get that fixed. Um, but anyway, uh, unfortunately was not able to get any new content this week, but I spent a lot of very valuable time working on my roadmap, my roadmap to top 100 in the world, and also um, have started writing my schedule. The path is looking very clear and I'm really excited to execute it. Gonna, gonna really make some changes uh, very shortly. But anyway, I thought it'd be cool to share a couple, couple random videos I found on my camera roll. So nothing super crazy about these videos. They don't really follow a common theme or anything, but um, just randomly chose four that I liked and decided just, shoot, I gotta post something today, so I'll post these. So the very first video um, I'm showing you guys is a practice match against Nick Camazar. He was, he was our volunteer assistant at Gonzaga and I thought it was pretty crazy. Um, go ahead and watch it. The second video I have um, may be the best memory I have playing tennis at Gonzaga um, because it was incredible. Uh, lost the first set 7-6, 14-12 in the seven point tiebreaker. Um, won the second set, I forgot what the score was. I think I won the second set 7-6 and then I was down like, I don't know, 4-2, 40 love or something or maybe 5-2, I don't know, I was down a lot. But I, I was the clinch match against Pepperdine um, and that was a team, I don't know if we've ever beaten them before, but uh, anyway, I'm, long story short, I ended up clinching it and here's the video of me clinching. Also, I didn't learn this until after the match, but this guy had an ATP ranking of 450 in the world and had his own Wikipedia page as well. So I thought that's, it uh, made me realize how good of a win it was. And one more thing, um, I also had Achilles tendonitis at the time, so I could hardly even walk. So I was trying to find a way of winning without having to move. So that, that basic strategy was roll it deep to the backhand corner. As soon as I get a high ball, smack a forehand winner. That was the strategy and uh, it worked pretty well. Third clip is super short, yep. super random and significant, but I just thought it was funny. Use it! After my time at Gonzaga, I used my COVID year for grad school at the University of Alabama. And um, I have a quick clip here of me playing Giles Hussey. I think he's currently about 500 in the world um, and I lost the match at the time, but I remember after that match, I was thinking, man, I should have crushed this guy, but got to give this guy a little credit. He's a, he's a great player. Um, you may have even seen him on uh, Tennis Brothers channel, because uh, it's a match of him playing Felix Mischke. But yeah, anyway, here's the clip. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, Really excited for this journey coming up. Some really big changes coming soon and um, would love if you guys could go on this journey with me. Uh, I'm gonna achieve some big things quickly. Here we go. Effort, quality, focus. Let's get after it.